Hola amigos, Brian from Postfly here. Uh, today we are going to do a little how-to video and install some brand new rock treads on uh, some wading boots here. Um, rock treads, a uh, relatively new company uh, and they've come up with a really, really awesome um, permanent way to add uh, traction to your uh, to your uh, wading boots. So we're going to give these a rip. The install process is a little lengthy so we're going to kind of walk you through it step by step. Uh, and help you do it right and uh, get these things on your boots for life. So Rock Treads has three options for essentially any uh, imaginable boot type. They have removable sole uh, option for like a corkers, uh, for example, a rubber sole, which is obviously uh, pretty popular. And then if you uh, still are rocking felt soles, uh, they have an option for you. Um, so you'll want to make sure if you're going to purchase this product, uh, make sure you do get the right variation for your particular wading boot um, for it to work correctly. So I've actually used Rock Treads for a little bit. Um, I got the first generation of their product, with it, which they actually had some issues with. And the issue was that the cleats were falling out of the boots. Um, as you can see here, there's only a couple left on this one, and then only two left over here. So they spent uh, the past year essentially rebuilding the concept from the ground up uh, and uh, building the product uh, to be permanent. So this situation that's on my boot uh, is not the same situation that will happen to yours. So here's what the product actually looks like. Um, so it's a uh, machined aluminum disc uh, that uh, attaches with a screw and what they did to improve it was put a lock nut in. Uh, so now you're installing it essentially from the uh, top of the sole of your boot uh, up through the bottom uh, and that is never going to leave the bottom of your boot by doing it that way. Uh, you get 22 of these discs per kit in a, very, uh, in a variety of different sizes. Um, and uh, we'll go through the, the placement pattern so you get it on there uh, correctly. All right guys, so here's uh, what comes in a kit. Um, you got your 22 discs in three different sizes, uh, kind of small, medium, large. Uh, and we'll talk about how to arrange those on, your, on the sole of your boot. Uh, and then they give you a plethora of screw sizes. So you're really gonna have to find the correct size screw for your sole of your boot. Uh, you obviously don't want the screw protruding through the inside of your sole. Uh, that is going to cause major foot problems. So um, take your time and figure out uh, and measure what the, uh, what the right size screw is. So you're also gonna need a cordless drill uh, because you're actually going to pre-pilot the holes on the bottom of your boot. So cordless drill, uh, the drill bit to do the holes actually comes in the kit, so you don't need that. Uh, but you will not get very far without a uh, without a cordless. So uh, let's get to drilling. So we're going to put these on some new Compass 360 Tailwater 2 boots. Um, these are pretty nice, uh, very, very durable uh, wading boot and it also has a uh, pre uh, kind of, I don't know what you want to call it, a patterned uh, alignment for your uh, for your studs. So we're just going to follow the alignment that's already here. Um, if your boot does not have an alignment on the sole itself, uh, you can obviously do whatever you want. Um, you'll want to really move things around and test it to see what's comfortable uh, for you and think about how you walk and where you put the pressure on your foot. Uh, but we're going to go with what's here. So first thing to do with this is to remove the inner liner of your boot because uh, that's going to rest down on top of the lock nuts that go in there. Uh, and so let's get drilling. So I'm just going to do a couple right now and you can do from here. So that wasn't actually very bad. In real time that took 90 seconds to drill those holes. Uh, now we got our pilot holes in and we'll arrange uh, the pattern of the uh, of the rock treads here on the bottom of the boot. Alright, so now we're going to lay out our pattern. Um, again, these boots came with kind of a pattern already drill, you know, already set up for you. Um, so we're going to go with what they have. You can do whatever you want though, um, but we are going to lay them out on the uh, preset pattern. So we're going to do some small ones up front. We're gonna go a couple medium guys there, a couple medium guys in the back, a couple bigger discs right there. We're gonna skip these ones in the middle. Um, these are actually boots that I'm gonna personally use, uh, and so that just kind of works well for me. You can move them back. Um, they'd be good for like, if you go to the skate park, you can do some grinding on the rails or whatnot with those. Um, but that is how we're gonna make them look. The countersink there, so the screw head actually fits flush. Uh, if you do it this way, the screw head's gonna pop out, so you don't wanna make it look like that. So 
first thing here, let's actually go inside and measure our screw. Make sure we're using the right size screw. That's it. So that's what you will you'll do. You kind of use your thumb and feel to make sure that the screw doesn't protrude over the over the thing. All right. So that's that's how we're gonna do it. finished product. Uh, that is really what you're going to want it to look like. Um, again, before, nothing, after. Um, and now we can slip uh, the inner uh, kind of liner of our boot back in. Bang, bang, boom. Don't even know they're there, which is amazing. And now these things uh, will be there for life. Uh, you'll have amazing traction. Um, the nice thing about the discs, uh, you, you see a lot of cleats that are kind of spiky. Um, the nice thing about the discs is that you get more surface area, uh, and aluminum is so soft that any sort of hot, like rocks or gravel or whatever you're going to step on is actually going to uh, it's going to indent the aluminum. So the grabbiness in these cleats um, uh, really comes from the softness of the metal, uh, and you get way way more surface area than you would on a regular standard cleat. So. That's how Rock Tread Insulation, uh, we obviously highly recommend these. Uh, we carry them here in our shop and online. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, certainly feel free to hit us up uh, and uh, definitely try them out, you'll love them.